And welcome back to another episode. So let's have a quick look at what's going on. First of all, we have an enormous amount of money because our economy was already more or less fixed before the end of the year. There was a little bit of a debt still, but for the most part we had paid it off. And now, since we've got a huge trade income, and our annual wealth income is actually one of the highest in the game right now. I think we are only second to the Dutch right now. And that doesn't really surprise me. But anyway, uh, we are going to be bringing our fleets back to Alexandria to overhaul and all that. And we do have orders that as soon as we can, we should go ahead and properly blockade the Mediterranean. There's been a little bit of uh, peace talks with the French and the Spanish, but those didn't go all that well. So now we'll essentially try to blockade Mediterranean, just so that no one else gets in there, or at least the French and the Spanish won't be able to get in there. But it's going to be a bit of a difficulty in terms of uh, logistics. So we'll have to see how well we can actually do that. But we still have some ships here, it's just most of the ships have been out so long on the ocean that they need to go back to Alexandria to get some uh, arrest for the crews. Especially since our invasion of Rome, uh, oh, sorry, peacekeeping mission of Rome kind of failed. And that's something that we'll probably try to do again at some point. We are going to be redesigning, or up, rather updating a lot of the designs for our crown units. And we're actually doing that in Istanbul already. It shouldn't take too long, although there's some units that are going to take a fair bit. For example, the regiment headquarters, which is going to allow us to have three brigades in a single formation, essentially. But anyway, there's a huge collection of things here that we'll be updating. Essentially, we'll be updating our entire military. Of course, uh, the existing units won't be updated, but as soon as we get the updated formations, we'll certainly start producing them as quickly as possible. And we do have a decent capacity of uh, building troops in various places. Actually, Baghdad is not producing anything. Is that because they don't have bronze? No, they do have bronze. Okay, so we just some that we've forgotten to do. We'll wait until we get the new designs. Building the old designs at this point is a bit of a moot point. Now we won't be setting any new colonies right now, but we do hope to capture Roma. What we might do at some point is going up to... Actually we're in the wrong zone for that. We're going to maybe destroy the coastal defenses at uh, Venice and Trieste. Which is going to be rather handy getting another two extra cities from there. But we just haven't been able to find any good locations to colonize right now. But I'm sure that we'll manage that eventually. We are going to be bringing a lot of our survey vessels back home. And that's going to take a while to overhaul and so forth. But eventually it's going to be alright. And we should be getting some nice upgrades for our ships this year as well. So we should be able to start updating our ships to some degree. We'll see how much we can actually do that. But we'll certainly try our best. But anyway, uh, the beginning of the year is probably going to be mostly rest and recuperation for our crews. Especially the task force that was in the Western Mediterranean. They do need some rest, but then we will set up the blockade in Gibraltar. Unless something happens on the diplomatic front. Which might happen sometime during this year, but we'll see. But anyway, I will bring you guys back in just a few moments. We have completed the research on better sails, uh, and now we started re redesigning our mast so that we can actually use these sails. We have now completed the initial 50 construction factories in mines that we started uh, building at the start of the game. So we now decided to start building 5 more research facilities in Istanbul, and they will be completed in a timely manner once we get the financial centers that we were building, which should be done by the end of the year we will then begin uh, building more construction factories. Also, we have uh, already researched some of the upgraded masts, so we should be able to start upgrading some of our ships soon enough. We haven't quite yet done that, but we should be able to start that soon. The last ship that took part in the raid of uh, Barcelona or Toulon uh, has been uh, repaired now. Some of the ships are still undergoing overhaul, so we won't be sending them west quite yet. We are also bringing in the fleets that were left behind because they've been out for close to two years now, or at least one and a half years, and that's a bit too long. So we'll need to let those ships to get some rest, but we can send the majority of the fleet probably back west at some point. 
We're currently preparing some of the support vessels and such uh, that will have enough fuel to actually get there. In other news, uh, we have decided to open or set up a new colony in the Middle East here, and Damascus will be a relatively good place for it. It does have a decent bit of uh, minerals, although the total accessibility is only 1.1. But well, there's uh, almost three, 13 million tons of iron and 3 million tons of gunpowder and the iron is the highest accessibility there so that means that we can easily get more and more mines in there especially if we get some mines and uh, construction factories there then it will feed itself essentially however the problem is that it is a bit high colonization cost and that is mostly because of the temperature it is a bit chilly there, I mean if we can get some terraforming stuff there then we should be able to get that a lot better. The diameter is relatively high so it's going to be somewhat slow doing that but it has a pretty good max population cap. On the other hand with the high pop uh, colony cost there's going to be a lot of the population that is uh, dedicated for agriculture and then the services do take a certain portion so the manufacturing will have a bit less unfortunately. We have already built uh, 500 infrastructure in Alexandria just for this, so we'll start transporting that. It will take a while before there's any meaningful amounts of infrastructure in there, but slowly but surely it will start increasing. And then our civilian colony ships will probably start feeding it with some colonists from Baghdad or Alexandria. Currently they're feeding most of the colonists to Jeddah, but that is uh, most likely already well beyond, yeah, it already has over 200 million, so we don't really need it there anymore. But we'll let them transport there for the time being, and soon enough we'll probably switch that over to a stable, or source of colonists even. Now, another thing that we have done is we managed to complete another third raid, and that was the Tahoe. Which we actually did start first a long time ago, but there was a bit of a bug that flushed all the shipyards empty, so we had to restart it. And now there's some kings under construction as well. We've also been expanding our military quite a bit, so we now have uh, pretty much one extra brigade in uh, Istanbul. And some of those units are actually updated models already, so they will do a fair bit more damage on them, especially if we try to protect Rome again. We should be able to defend it this time, or defend the beachhead anyway, and uh, we've also been expanding our military in Alexandria a little bit. Now, the two brigades that took part in the initial assault probably are not fit to combat right now. But we are building a bit more there, and then we have another battalion in Baghdad that could be transported over. So that would already be maybe about one and a half uh, brigades right now, so we do need to increase it further, but it is a good start. We have completed the financial centers that we set up to build in Baghdad earlier on, and since our economy is doing very strong right now, I don't think we need to worry about that anymore. So we have started uh, expanding our mining and construction there, so we'll be making a bit of infrastructure that will be then transported to Damascus which does have a tiny bit of infrastructure already but it's going to need a lot more to be able to support a population to then be able to mine these resources there and to be fair it will be able to expand the mining operations there rather quickly also it has some bronze and gunpowder and tar so not too bad resources in all honesty but the iron over there is what we really want and to have another trade location for our civilians And there we have it, that's another episode, so let's have a quick look at what's going on. First of all, you can see that there's some fleets going back to Alexandria. They've been bringing in some uh, extra fuel from Istanbul, because we noticed that we kind of run out of fuel here in Alexandria itself. We have very little fuel reserves right now, we'll be getting a bit more. I mean, the production is 17 million per year, but considering that we have a majority of our fleet in Alexandria, we've been doing a lot of uh, things that required a bit of fuel in the past year or so. So, yeah, we have a bit of a shortage there. But we'll get that sorted out eventually. Let's have a look at our shipyards and all that. So, we're currently building some new ships in Istanbul. There's a first, second, third, and a fifth rate. That's going to be useful. Then, in Alexandria, we're building a fourth and a fifth rate. 
since we don't have a huge amount of options there, we should probably start expanding our shipyard actually a fair bit sooner rather than later. And then in Jedi, we're not building any ships right now because we're missing something minerals there, namely stone and gunpowder. So building the new ships is not really an option right now. But we have really been building a fair bit of new ships. So I believe our total tonnage has gone up by probably about 60 to 80,000. I don't remember the figure out of the top of my head, but it has expanded a fair bit. And in terms of ongoing research, we're still getting the regiment headquarters, of which we do still have some unit types that we do need to research. We probably should have done those first before the headquarters, but that's a bit too late now. I mean, since we're this far into the technology, might as well go through it. And of course, we are still redesigning some of the masts for our ships. Then we're getting the research rate done, and then some optic improvements. Of course, the optic improvements is very slow right now. We are going to get another research facility later next year. Actually, probably more than one. But yeah, we'll be able to upgrade our research to some degree at least. Then in Alexandria, we are getting the mining production done. That's going to be done during summer. And then in Baghdad, we're getting the long-range bombardment weapon, and that's actually going to be finally done next year. So we can start designing uh, long-range bombardment units, which should allow us to fire upon the enemy from, I believe, from reserve position. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not an expert on the ground unit design, but that should allow us to fire upon the enemy a bit better and do a lot more damage on them in the long run. That's about it in terms of research, so if we have a look at the productions, we're getting some infrastructure in Baghdad now, which we can then take into Damascus. Then of course in Alexandria we're getting some low gravity infrastructure as well. Actually, did Damascus require low gravity or regular? It requires a regular. So the low gravity infrastructure is probably going to be used for something else. Maybe some colonies in uh, Mediterranean might require that, which is not terrible actually. And then in Istanbul we're getting research facilities and more construction factories just to increase our production rate. I mean, it's pretty impressive already, but we can always make it bigger. I think we do need to start uh, expanding our shipyards a bit, bit because uh, we have the cash to do that. Like, we are not short on cash. Of course, we also do need to expand our maintenance facilities a fair bit. There's no problem in Istanbul right now, but in Alexandria it really is a problem. We have about twice our capacity there right now, which means uh, that overhauls are being done a lot slower. Which is why our ships that got back to Alexandria from West Mediterranean are still... Some of the ships are still undergoing overhaul. Which is why we haven't sent any ships back to West Mediterranean yet. Another reason is the fact that we had a bit of a fuel shortage in Alexandria, so but that will be shorted out eventually. And once we have our ships overhauled here, we will probably be sending some ships back to Med West Mediterranean and maybe keep an eye on uh, Gibraltar again to make sure that we can see if the enemy is actually planning on something in Mediterranean or not. But I do believe that once we get enough uh, ground troops, we'll try another attack on Rome. This time, hopefully, we can take it. I mean, we do have already one full brigade ready at uh, Istanbul and we'll probably get um, another brigade from Alexandria and we're gonna get a, a battalion or two from uh, Baghdad but we do need a bit more than what that is so we will be building a lot more troops but it will take some time but maybe near the end of the next year we'll be able to do another attack on Rome we'll see about that in terms of survey we've been slowly surveying the Gulf of Persia a little bit there Arabian Sea and then West Mediterranean a tiny bit East Mediterranean we still have a little bit there but it's mostly around Venice and Trieste, so there's not much we can do about that. And in terms of Russian rivers, we've done a lot of a survey there, but we had to bring a lot of our survey ships back to port to be overhauled. So that's slowing us down a tiny bit, but it will be sorted out next year, so it shouldn't be a problem. In terms of colonies, we don't have a huge amount of going on other than Damascus. I mean, we might be able to set up some new colonies in Red Sea. I haven't been looking too much into that yet. But we'll probably look at that before we start the next episode anyway, so we might set up some new colonies there. And then of course the colony in Damascus will probably start getting some actual colonists in there next year, once we get a bit more infrastructure, but it's just distance is a bit high, so it will take some time, but we'll get that sorted out somewhere down the line. 
And as I said, our wealth situation is actually rather good. Our annual wealth is not quite as good as the Dutch are here, but it's very close. And our expenditure is a lot smaller, so we'll be able to expand a lot. And we have a huge cash reserve right now. It's not quite our annual racial wealth, but it's 60 to 70% there, so not too bad. So now we can safely say that money is no longer an issue for the Ottoman Empire. Now of course from our trade deals we'll be getting a fair bit of food again. Or well, actually it's going to be the first time for us, but we'll be getting a fair bit of food and that's going to be good. In terms of civilian mining colonies, we still have it two in Red Sea. And altogether it's seven civilian mining complexes. It's a decent number, I mean we do get some important resources from there, but not huge amounts. It's mostly this one, I believe, that we are actually getting the resources from. But there's a fair bit of overlap in the resource types there. I mean, to be fair, the wooden tar wouldn't be terrible. But I'd rather sell that and get the money. Although, we do have the cash, we could do it. I'll think about that. In terms of the civilian shipping lines, we have three colony ships and three freighters, which I believe is the same as it used to be before. There's not been much of a change there yet. But they do have a decent bit of wealth, actually, in both of them, so they might be building more next year. We'll have to see about that, but there's been a fair bit of trading going between Baghdad and Jeddah by the looks of it. But all in all, this year has mostly been about uh, repairing the fleets. Speaking of the fleets, the fleets in Alexandria have all been repaired now. It's just a matter of overhauls are still undergoing, which is has been rather slow, to be fair. Now we could set sail without the overhauls done completely if we cancel that, but it's going to take a while to cancel. So I'd rather just let them go through the overhaul. And next year we'll probably have a bit more action again. Perhaps an attack on Rome, perhaps some skirmishes between the coalition of the continent as they call themselves, uh, the Spanish and the French. And then we'll probably be building up some colonies and such in the nearby areas. So that's about it for this episode, so make sure to check out Lambert's channel, link is down below in the description, but other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll tell you next time, bye bye.